Well, since Tommy Lay's death in 2017, the family has maintained all along that the truth doesn't match the narrative that was put out by King County. Today, they say a new report that came out, an independent report, is a step in the right direction. And we want the truth to be out. You and Lay, you know. Tommy Lay's aunt, says this report shows the public what they've known since the day her nephew was shot and killed by a King County Sheriff's deputy. It's upsetting that it took so long, but we're also grateful that, you know, we finally have some more, like, truth revealed to the public. Tommy Lay, a senior about to graduate high school, was fatally shot by a deputy in Burien in June of 2017. The King County Sheriff's Office says he was armed with a knife, but later revealed he was holding a pen. Autopsy results show that Lay was shot three times, twice in the back. The deputies were eventually cleared, but three years later, this independent report raises serious concerns into that internal investigation. I apologize for the loss of their son, and I'm sorry for their pain. A report the sheriff responded to herself this morning before the King County Council. I cannot explain nor answer why um, those decisions were made by the previous sheriff, but we can and do apologize for our own lapses in public information sharing. Among the findings, that report says deputies were given two days to write a written statement about what happened, that those deputies weren't interviewed by detectives until five weeks after the shooting. Considering this incident, it's remarkable that nothing came out of it intended to improve the sheriff's response on a forward going basis. The Lay family calling the report a win, a step towards the truth. Though it's clear, their hearts are still broken. Older mother will not have to go through what I've been through. The sheriff also calls the report incomplete, saying that it leaves out many changes that have been made within the department since 2017. She says that her team is now preparing a formal response to this lengthy report. In Burien, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.